What's up, YouTube? TCM here, back with another video. And today we're gonna to be talking about the cheapest path you can take to become an ethical hacker. Everything you're gonna see in this video is either going to be a free resource or a resource that is no more than $30 total. I've got lots of resources to show you. We're gonna take you from zero to here. We're gonna talk about all the skills that you need and the resources that are out there in order to make you successful as an ethical hacker. Now we're gonna take a quick word from our sponsor, which you should honestly watch because it's about ethical hacking and another free resource to get into ethical hacking, which is the reason why we're doing this whole video today. So if you like the video, like, subscribe, comment down below, all that fun stuff. Quick word from our sponsor, then we're gonna jump into all of these amazing resources to get into ethical hacking on the cheap. If you're familiar with my channel, you know that this channel is primarily about ethical hacking. And a lot of the newcomers that come to the channel think that ethical hacking is about just breaking into systems and causing as much chaos as you can. And in reality, that's not the truth of it. What we're trying to do is we're trying to find vulnerabilities before the bad people do and report those to clients ethically. If you're one of those people that are new to ethical hacking and you're looking to get started, Sneak is offering an ethical hacking 101 workshop on June 21st. Not only will you get to learn about the tools and resources to use to get started, but you'll also learn about how to proactively identify and fix security vulnerabilities, such as prototype pollution or path traversal, before they can actually be exploited. And perhaps most importantly, you're going to get to walk through the process of responsible disclosure. How do you actually disclose findings to somebody? That means you're going to be able to identify and find vulnerabilities, but you're also going to be able to know what to do if you come across one. The Sneak team will be helping you every step of the way, offering live support and walkthroughs. So join Sneak's Ethical Hacking 101 workshop on June 21st at 11 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. It's free, it's virtual, and you can register using my link in the description below or as seen on the screen here. Okay, so let's talk about this roadmap. This roadmap is going to be from zero to hero. You need to figure out where you're at on this roadmap and place yourself there to move forward. We're gonna start with the very basics and move down. So we'll start at the top of the list. And as we progress further, things get a little bit more complex. So first things first, you need to have basic computer knowledge. This is the equivalent to the CompTIA A plus certification. Any certification I name in this video, by the way, you do not need to get, though it can be helpful. So what does basic computer knowledge look like? Well, this means, hey, can you build a computer? Can you fix a computer? Can you identify it by its parts? If the answer is no, you probably need some training in this. Now, this type of knowledge is what is considered help desk level knowledge, meaning that if you did get this knowledge, you could go work on a help desk and answer tickets, solve problems for clients or customers. Now, I'm all about cheap or free resources. So Professor Messer or Mike Myers for all the CompTIA that I'm going to show you is highly recommended. For Professor Messer, there are a ton of videos there. I do find them a little bit dry, but hey, it's free. You can't pass that up. For CompTIA, there are two sections. There's a 101 and a 102 that you need to pass. First section here does cover all the basics. Hey, what's a mobile device? What's networking? What are these basics of computers? And then in section two, we start to cover hey, operating systems. How do we actually fix some of this stuff? And we get into the hands-on break fix items which is pretty nice. Now, again, Professor Messer is free. Mike Myers is cheap. If you go to Udemy, and I'll link all these in the description below, by the way, but if you go to Udemy, you'll see that's $94.99. That's not true. Udemy always runs deals. Hey, courses from $14.99. You can enroll and get this for $14.99. When you're looking at Udemy courses for any course, if they have a rating of 4.7 or better, that's usually my threshold. 4.6 may be the cutoff. You kind of want the higher ratings. Now, Mike Myers is a great teacher. Nothing against Professor Messer. It's great and he's free. It's just a little dry. Mike Myers explains it in a explain like I'm five type way. And I've always appreciated that about him. All right, moving down the list, we've got computer networking knowledge. So when we talk about computer networking, can you tell me what the OSI model is? Do you know what service runs on port 22? Can you tell me what CIDR notation is? Or can you describe a three-way handshake? If you thought the last item was a dirty joke, you do not know what computer networking is. And that's all right, because guess what? There's training out there. In terms of resources, this is going to build you up for what is called the Network Plus. Now, Network Plus certification could land you a job as a junior network engineer. This is a certification that I got along with the A Plus and the Security Plus, which we'll talk about here in just a second. And this exam only has one exam. 
unlike the A+, which had two exams. So you come through here, it teaches you everything you need to know about computer networking. Again, Professor Messer free, Mike Myers up here, not free, but still great. And then there's also Cisco Packet Tracer, which allows you to download and play with fake networks. You can build out your own networks. It's actually really cool and they have training for it. Highly recommend checking this out and getting your computer networking skills built up. You're gonna need these if you ever become an ethical hacker because a lot of the things that we do do revolve around networks and hacking networks. So please do not skip over the networking knowledge. All right, next up is the security knowledge or the cybersecurity knowledge. We're talking about the CompTIA Security Plus here. And if you get all three of these certifications, this is what's called the triad. This is what I did. And again, you need to know this knowledge, but we start layering on from what we learned before. I like to think of the Security Plus as the Network Plus Plus. It takes a lot of concepts from networking and then layer security on top of them. So do you know why Telnet is insecure? Same question here, but do you know what the difference between port 21 and port 22 is? What about port 80 and 4043? Do you know the difference between TLS and SSL? Which one's better, which one's newer, more modern? If you don't know that, that's okay. You just need to learn this before you try to jump into the deep end for ethical hacking. This is building on that ladder and you need this to get to the next step. Again, great resources out there. I'm sure you guessed it for this one. Again, it's Mike Myers and it's Professor Messer. You can't go wrong with either of these people for your training. Now it sounds repetitive, but these guys dominate the A+, Net+, Security+, the CompTIA triad market, all right? So we're gonna get into different training vendors here, but again, you cannot go wrong with either of these courses, and there's just one exam for Security+. Plus. Okay, next up is Linux knowledge. Now, we use Linux in ethical hacking quite a bit. In fact, you're going to be very well versed in something called Kali Linux, most likely. There's also other distributions of Linux. Regardless, you're going to need to know how to use Linux. Now, Linux to me is like learning a foreign language. You can go and study it all you want, and I'm going to provide resources, but you can study and only learn a little bit, or you can immerse yourself in the environment. So if you're learning a foreign language, going to another country and trying to learn their language and speak the language with them is a lot better than just doing Duolingo or some other app and just saying, hey, I know the language. Same thing with Linux. You want to immerse yourself in the environment. Download Linux, use it as your main operating system for a week and just see the results that you get out of it when you have to struggle a little bit to learn your way around things. Now, how can we learn Linux? Here's some great resources. Again, we're sticking with free or very cheap. Linux Journey is great. You can come in here and just, hey, what happens if I want to get started? Command line, all these things. You just click on one and it takes you through all of this. It gives you exercises. Linux Journey is fantastic. If you want some more practice, there's something called Over the Wire. Now they have different war games. Bandit is one that's made for beginners for Linux. You can come in here, it gives you different challenges. Hey, level zero, level one, and kind of teaches you along the way what you need to do to solve these problems and even gives you some hints. You can look these up and find out solutions and that way you can kind of game the system a little bit and learn along the way, which is great. And then of course, full disclosure, this is one of our courses, but we do have a Linux 101 at TCM Security Academy where it covers all of this stuff as well. It has five and a half hours. Now, Linux is very popular. You can go out there and learn Debian-based Linux and just pick it up. You can just, honestly just learn it from YouTube or anywhere else. If you just pick it up, immerse yourself, you're gonna be great, but you need to know Linux in order to be successful in this field. Okay, next up is coding and do not let this scare you. You do not need to be a developer by any means to have a successful career in cybersecurity or ethical hacking. If you go out and you get a computer science degree or you have a development background, good job, A plus to you, it helps a lot. However, if you are going to be an ethical hacker, you do need to be able to read code. That is because we often download code from the internet and we do run that against systems you need to understand what that code does and make sure it's not malicious or going to take down a system. So in order to do that, we have to be able to read. You do not need to be a developer to be successful. Let's take a look at some of the resources that are available to learn coding. Okay, now for coding, I do recommend starting with Python. It's a very easy language to pick up and be able to read, and it's a great first language, so much so that colleges are all switching to Python for their introductory coding courses, and it just helps ease you into it. So first resource is Free Code Camp. Fantastic. You can come here and just search for like Python. Big caveat here is make sure that you are learning Python 3. If you see anything that says Python 2, you want to make sure that you are not doing that because that is now deprecated. 
All right, so it shows you the dates that these came through. Like, hey, learn Python from Harvard University. That's awesome. There are full Python courses on here. You might have to do a little bit of digging. Uh, this is arranged by date, so you may have to just search a little bit on Free Code Camp, but it's fantastic. Other resources that are paid, Code Academy is great. They have a ton of Python resources in here, and it allows you to actually just type into the code onto the screen here in the web browser and utilize it that way. You don't have to download Python or anything. Also fantastic. They've got a lot of resources here. You can do a seven day free trial without using a credit card, which is fantastic. So also worth signing up for. I think the pricing overall is around $30 a month. Same with Team Treehouse, fantastic. It's free for seven days. I do think you need to actually use a credit card here. It's $25 a month afterwards, but they have so many different courses and tracks and even like degree plans that they have in here. It's great. It's high quality. I think it's better than Code Academy because they do teach you video based, but you can try both of these for free and see which ones you like. Again, a little bit of self-promotion. We do have Python courses geared towards ethical hacking. Python 101 is a great resource, teaches you all the basics. And then you can move into Python 201 and get more advanced as you go. So just depending on the platform, your budget, everything else, all these are $30 or less and fantastic resources for your coding knowledge. Okay, we got all the foundationals down. We can start moving into actually learning ethical hacking. So let's start with basic hacking knowledge. We need to understand the concepts and just start getting our feet wet a little bit when it comes to ethical hacking. Let's look at some resources available for that. All right, first and foremost, again, a little bit of self-promotion. This is 100% free, by the way. We have a couple different versions of our ethical hacking course on YouTube. So this is Practical Ethical Hacking in 15 Hours. This is the most recent. This will teach you a lot of the basics, everything you actually need for your basic knowledge before you start getting into advanced items. And we'll talk about advanced hacking in just a little bit. But this is, hey, what do I need for the foundational groundwork? Now, this is a great course. It's broken into two sections due to upload limitations, but it's fantastic. This is a branch off of the 2022 version, which has almost 4 million views, just to let you know the quality that goes behind this. What goes into this is actually the first half of our course. We have a 25 plus, I think it's actually up to 27 hours now of ethical hacking course. And again, no more than $30 for this. You go in and you can see all the things that you learn, and this actually does get into advanced hacking more so than just basic hacking. So we've got, hey, Again, here, what do you do for computer networking? What do you do with Linux? What do you do with Python? We cover a lot of that introductory stuff. And then we get into ethical hacking. We get into a lot of this stuff here in order to get through this. And then we get into Active Directory hacking and web application hacking. And if all this sounds foreign, that's okay. But there's a lot of resources available to you. And this is the type of course that you need in order to get into the field and type of foundations that you need in order to get into the field of work. Now, there are some other resources that are free or very cheap. Uh, Try Hack Me is my favorite out of the two. Uh, Try Hack Me is great. It is free to join. They do limit you in some of the rooms that you can do, but basically it's like a capture the flag style, though with some handheld learning. It kind of walks you through and says, hey, um, here's your mission. Go find this flag or go figure this out. And it's fantastic. So um, I think that Try Hack Me is fantastic. Another resource like this is Hack the Box. Both of these are free to use and then have some premium upgrades involved with them. Uh, a lot of it is CTF style, meaning capture the flag. It's not as practical, but it still allows you to get hands on keyboard. It's a little bit gamified and allows you to just get some practice and experience. And I think they're great learning resources. If I had to give you one, Try Hack Me is great. Uh, Hack the Box is still not too far behind, in my opinion. Okay, we've built up to this, which is advanced hacking knowledge. What do we do above and beyond the basics that we've already learned? Well, there's a few things. We want to learn what's called Active Directory hacking. We want to learn web application pen testing. And we want to kind of tie those together. Those are some of the expectations you'll need as a junior level ethical hacker. More so on the Active Directory side than the web application side, but you will still need to know the web application side of things. So let's talk about resources there as well. All right, so the Active Directory stuff, I think, honestly, without bias, our course covers that better than any course that's out there right now. So I would highly recommend taking that course in order to learn Active Directory. You can find a lot of information out there from blogs. Like this one's from 2018, and it's actually surprising how a lot of the basics for Active Directory still work. Like this LMNR attack is still very, very common. Relay attacks are very common. So reading blogs like this, 
fantastic as well. You need to pick up Active Directory knowledge if you're going to be successful as an ethical hacker. Moving on to web application pen testing. This is very important. So there's a fantastic resource called Port Swigger Academy. And this academy is 100% free. It teaches you all kinds of attacks through these different modules, and it even guides you through them. And if you do want to go through all of this, you can end up actually taking an exam if you wanted to as well. It's fantastic. And again, like it says, 100% free. I don't think there's a better web application resource out there. And that's from somebody that teaches web application pen testing. This is just fantastic for hands-on material here. Another thing for web app pen testing that you need to know is that the OWASP top 10 is out there. It exists and you should learn it. So OWASP top 10 is the top 10 most common vulnerabilities. No, it is the top 10 most critical vulnerabilities that are out there. So when we do these by security risk, you look at this, there was a 2017 list, there's a 2021 list, and there's going to be a new list coming out very soon. And it talks about, hey, what is broken access control? That's number one, okay? Well, number three is injection. What does that mean? You can click into these. How do I fix this? You will be quizzed on this multiple times, I'm sure, during interviews. So make sure you understand this, what they mean, how to prevent it, those kinds of things, because it will come up in your interview. Okay, so that is a quick rundown of all the things that you need to do to study for this. We're not getting into certifications or any of that stuff. You just need to put in the work and study the foundations all the way through hacking, and you can worry about the rest on your journey later. This is what you need in the resources that are out there and that you can do, all of which I showed you today for under $30. You cannot complain about that. Most of these resources are free. It's fantastic. Go out there. If you want to be an ethical hacker, jump into some of this free training. See if you like it. Get your foundational knowledge and just boost it up. At worst, you come away with some more knowledge. You may want to get into cybersecurity down the road somewhere else. Maybe it's not ethical hacking. Maybe it's blue team. Maybe it's incident response. Maybe it's forensics. Maybe it's something else, right? Maybe it's not ethical hacking, but a lot of these core concepts apply to other fields of cybersecurity. So hopefully you found this video useful. If you did, please do like the video, comment, subscribe. Let me know what other videos you want to see. And until next time, my name is Heath Adams, aka The Cyber Mentor, and I do thank you for joining me. Peace out.